Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Honey, I Joined a Cult. This game is brand new, just released this week, and I'm finally getting around to record it for you guys. Played about an hour and a half so far, two hours, and I have really enjoyed it. Reminds me a little bit like RimWorld, but obviously more centered around cult and building a cult. So that is what we are going to do today. So instead of boring you guys a lot, let's go ahead and hop into our new game. We're going to watch a little bit of intro video, then design our cult and start building our compound. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and watch the video. Cult of the Spacefish. Day 52. Yes, yes they are. If you ever have to ask yourself that question, they are going pretty bad. Assistant Director Levi? There are a lot of cops there. They're going to arrest all these poor people. And we're going to have to see what happens to our space commander. What was his name? I can't read it. Charlie something or another. Charlie Fishnut. But a special observation bureau raid. Yes, sir, re Bob, they're here to arrest all you people. These people are brainwashed. They're practically delusional. Take this punk for instance. He's covered in blue house paint. He is kind of blue. That's not house paint. He's begun his transcension into a space fish. He does look a little bit like a fish. Fish. Sort him out. Yes, boss. I'm gonna do punch him in the gut or something. Looks like they punched him in the gut, poor fella. Ugh, oh fish. Boss, I am not sure this is paint. Of course not. I told you he's part space fish. Well, clearly, well, I don't know why they don't understand that. Amazing, a miracle, holy moly. Yes, yes, indeed, he is part space fish. But apparently it's going to be just that really stubborn paint. I guess, I don't know. Looks like a fish to me. These guys are assistant director Levi's just plain old wrong. All right, bye there, fish man. Space commander Charlie Fishnut will save you later. This place is done. We are shutting it down. But I did nothing wrong. Although we cannot prove you actually lifted a finger around here. Dot, dot, dot. Everyone else is to be taken away. Huh, interesting. You think they'd be able to arrest this guy for processing. What's most important is that I'm free. Well, yeah, I'd be worried about myself too. Get the heck out of Dodge. I want you out of this dust bowl tonight, punk. Yeah, you punk. I'll be moving on to the next... Low, I mean, yeah, of course. Officers will seal all this off shortly. All right, get out of here, Charlie Fishnut. Run, run, run. All right, I guess the agents are rolling out of this dump. That's not very nice. It's not that bad of a, a location. It looks a little sandy deserty, but not terrible. Two of these guys don't even ha don't even have handcuffs on. The fish people barely even have handcuffs on. What type of cops are these? 
you think they'd get handcuffs on all of them. You're fish now. Ha ha ha. Love the pun. As Charlie Fishnut runs away with a briefcase full of money. And reporter Bella Schneider. Yep. And protest leader Gardner stand there and do their things. So yeah, I'm really excited to play this game. I've been watching it probably for the last, oh, I don't know, year and a half, two years, maybe less, maybe more. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I've been watching all the videos that have been put out. It's uh, really piqued my interest. Like I said, it reminds me a lot of RimWorld, and I've probably got a couple hundred hours in RimWorld. So excited to see where it goes and what all this game has to offer. Like I said, played about two-ish hours before hopping in and starting to record for you guys. So I got a basic understanding of how to get our cult going and what all we need to do. So once Commander uh, Charlie Fishnut here gets through the fence and into the bus, we can design our own cult. Um, it's exciting. There's, You'll see I, I kind of worked on the name so I don't stumble around and make a, a joke out of myself, but I already developed a name. And all the the uh, fun stuff you can add about your cult. So it's just names and things like that. I've been given a second chance. Yes, you have, Charlie Fishnut. Time to change my ways. Yeah, you got a briefcase of money. Just run away and get out of here. Is he going to go put, assault this poor guy again? Thump. Yep, looks like he did. That's all right. Time to, oh, who am I kidding? Time to rebuild and establish contact with a new divine being. And that is where our God, Asclepius, of the Fellowship of Friendly Floss will come to light. First, I need some serious cosmetic surgery. To change my appearance. Good thing I know a guy. All right, well, let's go get some surgery, get that bus out of there, and we will go ahead and start to build our new cult and then build its new and beautiful and great and fantastic compound. All right, and there's everyone finishing up, protesting the cult, arresting all the cult members. And here we go. Three months later. All right, so welcome to the cult customization screen. As you can see, if you don't want to do all your work and make up names and things like that, there's 10 different options to choose from. So, okay, like here, cult number one, we got Cult of the Moon, run by Vice Moon Pie Burt Biscuit. Or we've got Christmas Dawn, their divine being Santa Claus, by Captain Crimbo Carol Management. So we are going to go ahead and make our own. So our title for our leader of our cult will be Chief Dentist. And then his first name will be, of course, Tooth with a last name of Mick Scrubbers. Oops, a CR. There we go, if I could type appropriately. I'm going to leave uh, the customization of that alone. The cult's name, like I said, is the Fellowship of Friendly Floss with a God of Asclepius. So if you guys don't know who Asclepius is, go ahead and use Wikipedia. Figure it out. I don't want to ruin it for you. Do a little research yourself. He is a real... Real God, did I spell it right? A-S-C-L-E-P-I-U-S. -E okay, good. All right, and our cultist noun will be dentist, and the plural will be dentists. With our holy room being, of course, the dental office. And then let's go ahead and make our relic a tube of toothpaste all right so let's see we want to go ahead and change their hat let's find something that looks dental like hmm not seeing anything really so we won't have them have a hat that's okay now their outfit let's see if we can find something that looks like a pair of scrubs uh, 
There, this kind of looks like a scrub, so they can wear that. Now let's go ahead and pick our relic. And let's see if there's anything that looks like a tube of toothpaste. I don't think there is, so let's go. Eh, that's kind of, we'll go with the arc. Now for the cult symbol, I already know what I want. Where is it at? Here it is. All right, so we're going to say that snake is a piece of floss and the, the skeleton head is flossing uh, his teeth with the, the snake. And Asclepius uses a snake as well. So let's go ahead and hop in into the game and we will start to build our fantabulous Fellowship of Friendly Floss compound. I really do like the colors in that splash green, the yellow and the red uh, offset by the white. It really just makes it pop. I like the, the guy with the spinny eyes and all that. So in this game, here you go, we can see this is our compound space, a nice field of grass fenced off, some trees and flowers and rocks and things like that. There's our bus, and we start off with, uh, obviously, Tooth McScrubbers. He is our leader. There he is. And then we get four dentists, four um, cult members that start with us. So we got John Anderson, Luke Johnson, Kevin McQueen, and Amy Leaf. They are all of our beautiful people. So let's go ahead and start by, or let me go to the rooms here. So you start with some basic rooms, bathroom, bedroom, cantina, lobby, and the dental office, which is kind of our main worshiping area. Lobby is where uh, followers or people from the community can come and visit us and potentially think about joining our cult. In the therapy rooms, that's where those followers will go and work with our dentists to achieve inner peace. So let's jump in and go ahead and make ourselves our lobby and we're gonna go with flooring and paving stone one do 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 and let's just go two more like that great now for our lobby it recommends 12 by 6 so do 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 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 we, oh, we can't do it that way so let's go ahead and build our foundation first uh, 12 and by 6. That is a little off center. Let me see if I can center that up just a little bit better. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here we go. That should be better. 11, 12. That looks better. All right, so we'll drop that there. Let's go ahead and put our front doors down. And then we'll put doors out. Oops, I did not want to put that door there. So, let's go ahead and just demolish that. And we'll have to put a wall back in. And there we go. All right, so in this building will be our lobby. And then we can go ahead and put some objects in our lobby. So the main thing, or the only thing you really need, is a desk. So we'll put that desk right there. Now we can add decor to the lobby to improve the prestige. So let's go to foliage. No, we want uh, decor. There we go. So we'll put a filing cabinet back here to make it a little more official. And how about, uh, there should be a bookcase. There we go. We'll put a small bookcase back here as well. And then we'll put a potted plant here. And maybe, um, we'll start with that. we got to save a little bit of money. And then we're going to go ahead and hop back outside and continue to build our compound. So let's go back to paving tile one. And I want this two units away from that. And let's just go over here arbitrarily and then bring this up like that a little bit. And then let's do two off like that. So we're gonna go ahead and build our chambers for our cult members to live in. So they need bedroom and a bathroom and a cantina. So let's go back to foundations here and we're gonna go ahead and build, let's build a rather large building. Um, let's do a 15 by 15 building right here, perfect. And we'll put our doors in. Now we don't want people to see inside here, so we'll do that there. And we will go ahead and plop down some rooms. Now we could do like a dorm room or a large sleeping room if we wanted. They get negative buffs if you do that. Um, you know, if you have a large dorm room, they don't like that. So we will go ahead and just do some smaller, more private rooms. So let's do, oh, I should have extended this one more down. Uh, that's okay. Let's go ahead and do our canteen. Yeah, we'll do our canteen over here. So let's do something more like this. Do, do, do. 
and then like that. Perfect. So we can go ahead and put some walls in for this. Or not foundation, we need walls. Wall brick, do do. And then like that and like that. So here is our canteen. So we can go ahead and put some objects in here. So we need our serving table. And let's go ahead and put that here so they can grab their food as they come in. And then can't put, eh, we'll put a table here. And then let's put one here as well. And then let's go here. So you can select the room and design the room based off that. So we got that and then we'll put our water cooler and our vending machine down there as well. Now we're gonna go back to decor and let's put in, um, what do we wanna do to spice this up? Eh, we'll put a potted plant in, nice. All right, so there's our canteen. So this leaves us this space over here to build our sleeping chamber, our bedroom, and the bathroom. So I think to start, we'll have to start with one large uh, bedroom and then we can go ahead and expand it as we get going. So let's do bedroom there and that should be enough to get us going. And then one, two, and then that can be our bathroom. So let's go to walls here under build walls. So we'll do brick wall there and then let's do, let's do this that perfect and then we're gonna go back to doors and plop in some doors I don't know why that did that uh, that's fine all right so now we can go ahead and put our objects down so let's go ahead and start with the bedroom now we're gonna start with these dirty mattresses two three four five and then in addition to that they need some storage so we'll put some storage boxes along here one two three Let's do four or five. And since we're such a benevolent leader, we'll give them a little bit of stuff in here. We'll give them a nice tall mirror so they can look at themselves in it. And then let's also give them a potted plant. There we go. What a beautiful bedroom for our followers. So our prestige is up a little bit. Now, since it's restricted, you can see it has that negative five on the prestige. Eventually, I'd like to expand this. Um, I think what we'll do is probably turn this into the kitchen when we unlock the kitchen and build separate bedrooms somewhere else throughout the compound. All right, now for the bathroom, we can go ahead and again select this. And as you can see, we get <clears throat> buckets to use for the toilet. And then some sink troughs. And then for the shower, we can put down some showers like that. And then I want to put some drains down so the water doesn't flow out. And there we go. There's our bathroom. Now, similarly, it is a uh, restricted space. There's a lot of objects in there in a small space. But we're trying to save some money and, you know, make the cult the best it can be while we're doing this. All right, so let's go ahead and hop back outside. Now we're going to build our next building, which will be the dental office, a.k.a. the worship room. So I am in the wrong screen. We're going to go back to objects here and outside why am i blanking oh floor here we go all right paving stone one now let's go this way so we went how many far over did we do that far yeah that's close enough there and then let's go up to about there two perfect and then we'll do two over great and in the middle we're going to put our church here actually so let's do that so for the dental office we need 11 by 1 so let's do objects let's go back here floor paving we'll do two there perfect and then we're going to go ahead and build brick foundation so let's go here 12, so that should be six by six. That looks pretty centered and we'll go to 10. All right, so there is our church right in the center. First thing everyone sees. Now I want everyone to see this because this is the dental office. This is the best building in the whole complex. So dental office, go ahead and mark that like that. Ooh, I like that wooden floor we got. Go ahead and select our objects. 
select the dental office, and we're gonna go ahead and do, ooh, which lectern do I like better? I like the wooden lectern. So we're gonna put our wooden lectern right, ah, we can't quite center it, eh, we'll put that there. And then let's go ahead and put some basic pews down. One there, one there, skip a space, skip a space, nice. All right, then our bronze idol um, on the wooden stand. So we'll put that there. So that's our idol for the whole church. Okay, so there is the dental office built. And in here we can pick what type of sermon that uh, tooth McScrubbers will be giving. Obviously, as we advance more, we can change things. It can give us more influence or faith or money or reduce or increase our PR, things like that. Okay, so now we got one more room to build here. So we got our lobby, got our dental office, canteen, a bedroom, and a bathroom. Now on to the therapy rooms. So the first one we start off with is the meditation studio. So this is where the followers can come and try out being a part of our cult. So we're gonna do, let's just do this, and let's do a 10 by 10. Okay, so I wanna go up one more, bricks. There we go, 10 by 10, nice. So again, we'll do our double doors. This one's a friendly room, so we can do the double door with the windows there. And then let's go to rooms and meditation studio. Plop that down, very nice. Let's pick some objects for this room. Do, 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 meditation studio. All right, so we need our meditation music, so we'll put that over there. We'll put our meditation stage right there, and now some meditation mats for the followers. Oops, I don't want that one there. So let's go ahead and move object, move that one back. Perfect. All right, now this room I want a little bit more decor in. So let's go decor, and we can put, ooh, a lava lamp, a little ambiance in the room, and maybe a potted plant over there. Let's put some potted plants here. Give that a little more good feeling. And then, mm, what else can we put in here? Maybe a wooden table? Yeah, we can put a little wooden table in there. Now, can I put the stereo, I don't wanna delete objects, move objects, can I put the stereo on there? No. All right, that's okay. All right, guys, I think we got our cult up and running. Our five members down here. Let's get ourselves some, uh, let's get ourselves some, some, yeah, get ourselves some followers in the next episode because we've been going for about 23 minutes now. So again, thank you so much for coming out and learning about Honey, I Joined a Cult with me here on Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. Comment on down below if you want me to do anything special for our cult. I uh, want your guys' feedback as we get going here. And obviously, if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. I plan on playing Honey, I Joined a Cult as much as I can. I want this to be one of my main series. In addition to that, I'm also going to finish up Torchlight and then probably going to start Craft the World or maybe another game. I don't know. Let me know down below what you think. Again, thank you so much for coming out, and we'll see you in the next Honey, I Joined a Cult video.